Hi folks, Rick Waddell here. I'm the Chief Investment Officer at RFG Advisory in Birmingham. Uh, today is Thursday, June 25th, and I thought I'd come to you with a brief update on the markets, just kind of let you know what's going on. Um, it's been a relatively quiet past couple of weeks. Uh, the S&P 500 was hanging out at that 3100 range that we talked about in the past, maybe a little bit higher, maybe a little bit lower for uh, quite some time. Um, as the market continued to sort of digest increased opening data, increased green shoots in the economy, um, and, you know, was, I think, looking forward to, you know, the continued reopening, maybe even accelerated reopening in places like New York uh, in the Northern Corridor, um, watching the progress of the reopening process in uh, the lower uh, half of the United States where, where the reopening happened a little bit faster. Um, that's been dealt a little bit of a setback uh, in the past couple of days as we've started to see uh, sort of rising caseloads um, across the southeast and some of the other states that have opened earlier. So um, states like Florida, Alabama, Texas uh, have really seen um, increased virus loads. Um, and that's leading some to question a little bit whether or not the reopening can continue at the pace uh, at which it currently is. And in fact, we saw Texas earlier today uh, maybe push pause on their reopening plans, not necessarily pushing folks back into quarantine, but maybe reopening a little bit slower uh, than the market was expecting. Um, and the market sold off yesterday uh, as a result of that slower reopening pace or fears of a slower reopening pace. Uh, so we were down about two and a half percent yesterday. And today the market is holding in at about 3,050 uh, for the S&P 500 as a level. Now to put that all in context, let's remember that uh, so far, the second quarter has been one of the strongest quarters on record for the market. We're up north of 20% for the S&P 500. So to give a little bit back at the end of the quarter uh, is not the end of the world. And I think the market, most market participants believe that uh, the notion that we would put ourselves back into full quarantine at this point is one that uh, the United States may not be willing to accept politically. Um, that might be the right call from an overall minimization of deaths standpoint, but I think that there are enough people out there that look at um, that look at the impact of the first quarantine in terms of the overall economic impact on the country, as well as maybe a little bit of weariness or tiredness with the quarantine. Um, and say to themselves that, look, if we, if we locked ourselves in our homes for two months only to get out to find that, you know, just the next wave of the virus is going to be right back around the corner and we're going to have to lock ourselves back in our homes, um, that's not something that I'm willing to sign up for. Um, I think that uh, there's a growing consensus out there that while we may have to slow down the pace of reopening and we may have to, you know, we may not be back to the old normal anytime soon, um, the, the economic activity that we're seeing today in certain states, uh, I, I don't think is going to get shut down. It may get slowed, but I don't think shut down entirely. So um, a little bit of a more negative outlook than maybe we had a week or two ago when it looked like the pace of reopening with social distancing uh, was going to be able to, enough to contain the virus and we wouldn't necessarily see a second wave. Uh, but at least from an economic standpoint, a positive outlook in the sense that um, it appears that if the second wave is going to come, it's not going to sort of force mass scale shutdowns of the entire U.S. economy. Um, so with that, I just encourage everybody to, uh, you know, stay healthy. Uh, number one way that you can stay healthy is to practice social distancing. Uh, I know it's been a long time, but uh, we've got to keep through it for a while. Um, and if you have any questions about anything, feel free to reach out to either myself or directly to your advisor. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful day and I look forward to talking to you again soon.